In this example, we're going to construct a for loop to print all the numbers in the range 1 to 10. So before we begin writing our code, let's examine the problem and see how we can construct our loop. So we want to print all the numbers in the range 1 to 10. So let's think of a number line with all the numbers from 1 to 10. Okay, so what's our task? Print the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Where do we want to begin? We want to begin at the number 1. So that's going to give us a clue as to how to initialize our loop counter variable because we will initialize our loop counter variable j to 1. Okay, well, where do we want to stop printing? Well, we want to print all the way up to 10 and then just stop after printing 10. So again, that gives us a clue as to how to initialize or how to write down the guard of our loop because the guard of our loop will be j less than or equal to 10. Okay, what about making progress? Well, do we want to print all the numbers in the range 1 to 10? Yes, we do. And that is just a sequence of numbers that increment by 1 each time. So therefore, if we increment j, our loop counter variable, by 1 each time, that will give us um, an output starting at 1, incrementing to 2, incrementing to 3, incrementing to 4, and so on, all the way up to and including 10. Okay, what's the task to complete? Well, we just want to print the numbers. So <clears throat> the loop counter variable j will be the number 1, followed by the number 2, followed by the number 3. So our task then is to just simply print the current value of j each time the loop repeats. Okay, so now we can construct our for loop. So we can say for int j equal to 0. Well, it's not 0 actually, is it? We're going to start at 1. So we're going to say j equal to 1. And then the guard on our loop, well, we want to print all the way up to 10 and including 10. So the guard on our loop is going to be j less than or equal to 10. And then how are we going to make progress? Well, we want to print every number. So that's just simply incrementing j by 1 each time around the loop. And what's the task to complete? Well, the task to complete is just to simply print j. So that is to just print the current value of j. And we're going to use a system.out.printf statement to do that. Could use a println or a normal print statement to do it. I'm just going to use a printf. So um, our placeholder then um, for this is going to be percent %d. And I want to print a space after the number. I'm using percent %d, of course, because j is an integer value and the percent %d is a placeholder for an integer value. And then, of course, I have to also include the value that I want to print, which is j. So every time this system out.printf statement is executed, the placeholder percent %d will be replaced with the current value of j. And, of course, each time around the loop, j will change its value. It will start at 1 and then be incremented by 1 each time around the loop until um, the guard on the loop, j less than 10, evaluates to false. So if I execute this program now, you'll see that the numbers from 1 to 10 are printed in the program's output. And of course, each one of these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, is the current value of j each time around this loop. So this loop repeats this system.out.printf statement 10 times, and the current value of our loop counter j will be printed each time the system.out.printf statement is executed, giving us the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that was a fairly simple example of printing the numbers from 1 to 10. But what about if we wanted to write a program to print all the even numbers in the range 1 to 100? So um, again, this is a 
quite a simple loop to construct once we step through and see what we need to do. So here we have a bigger range, we've got from 1 to 100, and also we don't want to print every number in the range from 1 to 100, we just want to print all the even numbers in the range 1 to 100. So again, let's think of our number line. Now I'm not going to type out all the numbers from 1 to 100, so we'll just do um, a sample of some numbers. So I'll represent dot dot dot, uh, we'll represent all the rest of the numbers, and then we'll just put 98 um 99 and 100 so that's our number line and what we want to do is print all the even numbers in the range from 1 to 100 okay well um what's the first even number in this range from 1 to 100 well it's not 1 the first even number is 2 so that's the first number we should see in our printout because we want to print all the even numbers in the range of 1 to 100 so the first number we should see is 2. Well, if we know that 2 is the first even number, why don't we just start printing at 2? So we can initialize our loop counter variable to 2, and that will be the first even number that we print out. OK, well, what is the guard on the loop going to be? Well, we want to print all the even numbers all the way up to 100. So the guard on our loop will be j less than or equal to 100, because we want to stop at 100 we want to include 100 in the numbers that we print and we want to stop there so j less than or equal to 100 okay what will we use to make progress okay well if we know that we're starting at the number two well is the number three an even number no it's not is the number four an even number yes it is is the number five an even number no it's not is the number six an even number Yes, it is. So if we start at 2, we then know that every second number will be an even number. So in this case, we don't want to print every number. We only want to print the even numbers. And we know that we're starting at 2. So we'd like to hop over each, um, the next number. So then we'd like to skip the number 3 and print the number 4. Skip the number 5 and print the number 6 skip the number seven and print the number eight so rather than incrementing j by one we increment j by two because we know that every second number is going to be an even number so now that we've figured that out we're now ready to construct our for loop so we'll say for int j equal to two to begin with and then the guard on our loop is going to be j less than or equal to 100 this time and then to make progress we're going to say j equals j plus 2 because we're going to start at the number 2 we're going to loop until we reach 100 j less than or equal to 100 and we want to print every second number because we know that every second number will be an even number so we say j is equal to j plus 2 and then the task to complete really is to just print the current value of j so we're just going to use a system dot out a print f statement to do that so we'll say percent d because we're printing an integer and then i'm going to put in a space and the value that I want to print is the current value of j. So I'll just put j in as the value that I want to print. And that's it. So this loop should print all the even numbers from 1 to 100. So if I save that and uh, let's run this program. So when I run the program, you'll see that it outputs all the even numbers in the range 1 to 100 because you can see the first value that it outputs is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, all the way up to 100. So it's printing all the even values from 1 to 100. But of course we start at the value 2 and that ensures that every second number from there on is an even number. Okay. So we can see that we've constructed the loop in such a way that it only gives us the even numbers from 1 to 100.